My name is Lindsay Shipman, and I am actually a part-time instructor at a Canadian college. Um, there's a lot that I'm really excited about in Brightspace, but one of the things that I find the most useful to me, in particular when I'm teaching in an online or blended environment, is really using those release conditions. Um, when I use them, it means that I can personalize my learning and my students see specific features of the course that are relevant to them which means that it eliminates some of that noise from seeing too much of the course and things that might not matter as much to them. So starting from content, I will simply click to create new and I'll add in a checklist. And so what I'm doing here is creating a checklist that will provide my students with assignment options. And so from there, I've got the opportunity to include a description. Sometimes this is a good place to do, um, put an image or put a video or something that kind of draws students' attention to it and tells them a little bit about it. Because one of the things, of course, that's important is if you're gonna make a choice, it's gotta be the right one for you, right? So I like to take that time to explain what their assignment options are. And then I will just create an insert. And from here, I'm going to uh, make that checklist visible to my students. And I'll go ahead and open it. And I will add in some options for them. So I'm going to create a new category. So always starting with that. So uh, sometimes there's opportunities to provide more than one choice based on different um, things that we're thinking about that term, um, different assessment criteria that I'm considering as we move through it. So here, I'm just gonna put in their major project. And again, I've got that opportunity to add a description if I want. I'm gonna click save, and then I will create an item. And so that item goes into the category. And in this case, the first item that I create is going to be an oral presentation. And again, there is an opportunity for me to add a description. So if I wanna be really clear about exactly what that assignment entails, I'll take the opportunity to do it there. And I'll save and new. The other item that I am going to put is an essay. So my students have that opportunity to either write an essay for me or do that oral presentation. And I will click to save. So now I've got a checklist with two options. What I'm gonna do next is navigate to my assignments. And I will create, um, actually we'll just, we'll edit this one to make it nice and easy. So for this assignment, I'll amend it slightly to be called an oral assignment. And then I'm going to go to our avail availability dates and conditions. Um, from here, I'm just gonna add a release condition and I'll create a new one. So what we're doing is we're providing choice for students based on what they checked off in that checklist. So I've already given them that option. Are you doing that oral assignment or that essay? and I will navigate to my checklist options and I have a completed checklist item. So I am looking at that assignment choice. I am looking at those assignment options and then the checklist item that I want this one to be attached to is the oral presentation. And that's it. So what this means is that when my students navigate through my course, they're going to encounter an essay, and when they select um, an oral assignment or an essay, it's only gonna pull up the contents that is specifically relevant to them. So they're not having that extra information um, cloud anything that they're trying to get through, um, and it's a really great way to streamline my course and make things personalized.